today on Be Something Wonderful. When you get this, you will never be the same ever again. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Here we are in Cusco, Peru, with another powerful session for you, another powerful lesson. This really came principally from a comment on the channel from one of our subscribers who's also a client and also a, a question in one of my sessions yesterday about these ideas of the infinite versions of you and infinite realities and the infinite versions of a specific person that you want to be with. Right, and here's the question from the subscriber on the channel. And since there are infinite realities, there's another version of your SP, in other words, a person that you wanna be with, a specific person that you wanna have a manifested experience with, who doesn't want a commitment, and one that does, and even a version that is, that is married to someone else, for some examples. So what she was talking about, so if there are infinite realities, there's infinite versions of that SP, your SP, the person you wanna be with, married and not married, with a baby, not with a married, married to somebody else, committed to you or married to you. And then her question is, what happens to these versions? Are they simply potential energy flowing, floating around the ether as opposed to physical materialized forms? Or could they possibly exist as materialized forms in 3D reality? but you're simply not experiencing them in your current reality. So, the, so here's the thing, here's a, and she says, due to the observer effect, right? We've talked about that every reality has an observer and every observer has a reality. But I really wanna hit this because it's not about them or others, it's not about the SP. It's not about versions of them existing. It's about who are you being? It's all about you. They don't exist outside of you. There is no out there, out there. So there's no reality no version, any, there's nothing outside of you. It's outside of your multidimensional personality as an infinite being, who you're being. So, and, and, and also there's, no, there's really no 3D or 4D or 5D. These are convenient terms to, to look at the different experiences of ultimate reality, but there's, there's only ultimate reality in your perception of it. And when we perceive at the highest level, Right from that I amness, from that absoluteness, from that absolute no separation, totally unlimited. That you might call that 5D, and we would perceive it from our thoughts and our feelings, the unseen assumptions and so forth. We call that 4D, and then when we have a physical experience in manifested form, you want to call it, we call that. 3D, but it's all just reality. It's all ultimate reality in your perception or your awareness of it. It's all God. It's all love. It's all one in your perception of that one unity. So I really want to hit this like we never have before. Let's hit the, the points that I've made before in scripture and let's see how it all ties together. This is why Jesus asked you, but who do you say that I am? That it's not about your SP existing outside of you in some 3D reality or some physical form. It's about who do you say? What version are you focusing in on? You're a multidimensional, infinite being, an I am personality within the great I am of all beingness, of all individualized points of God, or points of God consciousness, deciding who you will be. What version are you gonna call forth? What reality are you gonna occupy? What assumption are you gonna assume? Right? Who, but who do you say I am? That's why he pressed his disciples to say, forget about all those, those things that you say in physical reality. Who do you say you are now within? Because that determines it. That's why God said, when, when, when Moses said, who should I say sent me? God said, I am that I am. I am who I am. In other words, I am whoever you say I am. I'll be whatever you decide that you are. Because there's only I am. God's the great I am. But also that God is also whatever you say that you are, because you're one with God. But that remember, you're one with the Father, but the Father is greater than you. So whatever you say, that all potential, God's all potential, all possibilities, all versions, all realities, right? And then finally, um, the, the disciples answer, right? They answer and they say, you are the Christ, the son of the living God, Matthew 16, 6. In other words, that, the Christ is your I am as a multidimensional I am, as a multidimensional personality that can, that can be anything it wants, it can be, do, or have anything it wants, that higher you, right? That multidimensional 
point of consciousness of God that can be anything. And, and, and the son of the living God, the living God, the great I am, is all the I am's, all the individualized, infinite, multidimensional points of consciousness of God, including your SP and others, you, me, and everybody else. We're all part of that living God, that one beingness of God. But you, as an individualized point of consciousness, your I am, your, your, your infinite versions of you is that Christ, the Son of the living God. That's why it says in Scripture, in Him, in that living God, that one beingness that includes all beings, all consciousness, we live and we move and we have our being. In other words, we determine who do you say that I am? Who do you say you are? Because you live and you move and you have your being in that great I am. That's why Jesus asked the question. And remember, above all of it, is the absoluteness that's unchangeable, untouched, untainted by even your multidimensional personality <laughs> is the one God, the one love, the one source, the Lord, the law, the I of the I am, the absolute, the isness, the self-existence. It's relative to nothing. It's absolute, meaning it is the one law and one power. It's not just some power, it's all power. It's the power right? It's the great I am, the infinite beingness of all I am. It's the I, okay? So let's hit this. So the question was, we talked about these multidimensional person, um, these multidimensional versions of yourself in these realities, these scripts. Here they are. And think of them going on in infinite variety, infinite colors, infinite possibilities. Here you are focused in your current 3D experience without your SP who does not want a commitment. But there are infinite versions of you, just as real as your experience of your 3D experience going on right now. But they're just potential to you as you're focused in on this 3D reality. But to this infinite you who is married to that SP, for example, that's a real experience. In your potential, that, that reality without the SP, that blue is potential to this person, to this infinite you. Do you see it? It's all potential. Even you, your potential to these other versions of you, other personalities of you. But it's all you. Do you see it? All of them are you, superimposed over one over the other. And you're focused here, right? The multidimensional infinite you is all of you. That's the total I am. But within that I am, is all these individualized personalities. The infinite you focused in one of these infinite versions of realities. That's what that blue represents, right? But all of these are just potential. So yes, they exist, right? But they, they only exist as potential to you. Possibilities while you're focused in this current 3D experience of not being with your SP. But as you assume it, as you light up that future frame, you move to a reality or to another version of you. You merge with it, one that is with that SP. And then that other reality that you're no longer focused on is now potential. Do you get it? And now that, but it's still happening. It still exists. It doesn't go away. That version of you, that reality, that script plays out that wasn't with the SP. It still exists, but it, and it's all happening right now. That's why you have you get feelings out of the blue, right? That's why you have desires. Where do you think those desires come from? They come from a, you as a multidimensional being who's already living it, who's already loving it. That's why you have desire, right? What's a desire to you is a reality, living a, a real reality, a real experience to a multidimensional you, right? And what's a, and and that multidimensional you, what you what you're living. Is a, is a desire or a potential for that other multidimensional you. Do you see it? But So the infinite you focused in one of these infinite versions. All other versions are individualized personalities having their own unique experience. They're having their own unique experience. They, they're, they're individual from you, but they're all you. Do you get it? And they're having, but our, their potential to you while focused in your current experience. Do you see it? That blue would then become a dotted blue and this would become a dotted potential as you move into any one of these infinite personalities or infinite versions of you. So it's not about your SP. The SP and all the others come from within you, from within that personality of you, right? They're, remember, they're extras in your movie, right? They're extras in your reality. 
It's you that you want. Who do you say you are? That's all that matters. That determines everything. So let's hit this a little bit more. So the Christ is the, this is you, the Christ, that I am, right? All potentials. And, and for instance, say you moved, as I, as I said, say you moved to be in a reality where you're, com- where you're married and you're both committed and you both love each other. That blue then becomes a potential. It still exists. It's still you. And it's still going on. It's still having its own individualized experience. But you're no longer focused in on it. You're, in the, you're here, right? You're the Christ. You're infinite, multidimensional I am. You're Christ, the son of the living God. You are all of these personalities. You're the son of the great I am, the living God, or in all individualized points of consciousness, all the others, all those other infinite points, all infinite, infinite, multidimensional, individualized points of God consciousness. It's double infinite, right? They're all infinite. There's infinite points of God consciousness. You're one of them. And within your specific infinite point of God consciousness are infinite versions of you. That's a, that's a lot of infinite, right? Remember, you got the Lord, the law, the absolute isness and love of God. It's first cause. It's not relative to anything. It doesn't change. It doesn't take any forms. It just is. It's all power. Think, think of it as all power, all potential. And then there's the, the first manifestation, the great I am, the beingness, right? God moving over the waters that forms this beingness of all potential points of God consciousness, you, me, and others, right? All multidimensional personalities, all in potential. And then there's you, your experience as a multidimensional personality. I am the Christ, the son of that living God, the, the being within the beingness. You're a being, an infinite being within this infinite beingness, right? All your multidimensional person, personalities and potential are here. It's that's you there right? That's you. That's the Christ, right? Then you you have a specific experience of reality, right? A a specific perception of it. Then I am this or I am that. That's your current focus. You as Christ's awareness. That's what we're talking about. Do you see it? How it's all you. It's not, it's not about that it, 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 it exists in ether or anything like that. It's that it's all you living within the great I am, you could decide what reality, what personality, what version of you you want to occupy. That's what decides what version of that SP or what version of others will be in your experience. But it's about you. So the question is, as God asked, as Christ asked, as, as Jesus asked, who do you say I am? But who do you say I am? What assumptions are you going to make right now? What are you going to assume? Forget about the, the, the 3D where you're focused now. What are you going to assume? What are you going to stand in as your reality? What facts are you going to believe? What reality are you going to create? Because that determines your experience of that great I am. Your experience of what version of you will, will, will play out in this 3D physical experience. It's all ultimate reality. You get to decide. You get to choose. How do you do it? But you could take a simple scene and imagine yourself being congratulated or imagine yourself holding hands or getting married to your SP. Imagine yourself holding a baby, right? Imagine yourself in that dream job. Imagine yourself <clears throat> healthy and vibrant, right? But when you take that one scene, that's the implication. That's the assumption that 3D reality must now start yielding to that assumption. You must start moving to that version of you that's just as real as this 3D experience you're having. And as you move to it, when you do, when you get this, you'll never be the same ever again. I am your host, Tom Karen. This is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. More coming here from Cusco, Peru. Uh, Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. We have a Facebook page to Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. We also have a membership channel where you can join that for more additional content and live streams. Um, And if you've joined that, thank you for joining. Also, we have an Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, or just go to our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. If you have questions on coaching, it's all there. Guys, until next time. 
creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom with Be Something Wonderful, wonderful coming to you from Cusco, Peru with more and more and more love and more light and more infinite gratitude. See you soon.